Welcome, everybody, to the PBO. We're going to have PBO rules today. Bang in the music. Pause. Anyway, here's the table of contents. I do this every season where I, I, I literally just read over the rule book. That's a video. Stuff that was confused about it. They can go over and look over themselves whenever they want to. As I load the volume a little bit more on the music, just go over it. So here's a table of contents. If you're on a PC, you can click through on the phone. I don't know how to do it, so don't ask me how. So the basic information, I'm going to run through the whole rule book together. We'll read it together. And maybe make some edits along the way if need be or change change um, font, change anything. So basic information, welcome to the PBO, the Pokemon Battle Organization. This is a casual Pokemon draft league that battles... I prefer the word semi-competitive. Because, I mean, there's a trophy at the end, there's this, you know what I mean? Pokemon Draft League, that was for Pokemon Showdown. So having fun the most important thing around here. This league is welcoming to beginners, as well as those who are more experienced, because of the variety of experience and skill in this league, we offer multiple divisions that give players the most balanced experience for their skill set. The beginner division is called the Neon Division, the Intermediate Division is called the Sunset, and the Experience is called the Stargazer Division. Specifics on how you get into certain divisions are elaborated up in the division section. Above all else, this league prioritizes community and good vibes over anything else. We encourage players to team build together, mock together, and help everyone feel comfortable. Often we partake in community events, just random battle tournaments, mostly in the off season. We encourage new league members to participate as these events are great ways to meet and get to know others in the league. Before draft, if you can participate in the off season, I think that's the easiest way to like talk during draft day and feel comfortable as draft is live. Sportsmanship rule. This is made by Little Hill specifically in both conferences and all conferences. There will be many times players will make mistakes slash misplays and find left them no respectfully. But calling other players terrible for making a mistake only causes resentment. Making rude comments live during their match will not be tolerated as well. Even if you're making these types of comments to a friend for banter, others who are not in on the joke may see this toxic, and your comments may look good for the PBO. Small warnings will be given out if these comments are made, and if they continue written ones on potential termination from the league may occur. Disclaimer, net clause, just something to look out for, a little, a little Easter egg, if you will. If any rules are missing, loopholes or unforeseen action that needs to be taken. Lots of authority to make changes, additions, or removals to these rules at any point to preserve the integrity of the league. If you do, and, and if you are the reason a new rule is made, you might just get a new rule named after you. Exciting. As you'll see later in this uh, rule book. Example of someone actually tears Pokemon that was tear and the rules didn't account for a mistake like this. Mods will create a new rule to account for this. Divisions. As a reminder, Neon's Beginner, Sunset, Intermediate, and Stargazer is experience. When you fill it out the application for the PBO, which I'm sure if you're in there, you probably did, as long as you're on the wait list, you likely attach a showdown replay for mods to look out and determine your placement and you'd indicate which division you, you, you believe you belong in. With this information, depending on the available positions, mods will place you in a division they believe you fit well in. You fit in well, which it's been a rare occasion where people join and they don't really have, they don't really abide by that rule, but normally you get in the, the one you want or at least wait or at least wait let's sit for that one however your position and division may be temporary and you'll see why as i read this next paragraph at the end of the season some of the top and bottom ranked teams in division have the opportunity to be promoted if they're a top team to the next gym or be relegated if they're a bottom team the next division down this not only encourages players to play well even after being locked for playoffs, but also encourages them to play well if they lose playoff chances, as well as allowing players to have drastically improve the play others of the skill level. Because of how divisions are structured, Stargazer players can only relegate, and young players you can only promote, and Sunset players can do either. Promotion works as follows. The two finalist teams will guarantee the promotion to the next division up. The highest non-finalist seed from the regular season will guarantee the promotion to the next division up. Relegation works as the three lowest teams in the division will be demoted to the next division down. Guaranteed. No ifs, ands, or buts. Unless someone leaves, then maybe, but, you know. Also, if you, I didn't say already, I'm sort of flying the commission of PBL. I run this league, so. Coming from the horse's mouth. <laughs> Drafting rules, which has already happened by the time this video goes up, it will be snake draft format. 
players are randomly assigned a number that determines their draft order determined by a marble race. For the first round of drafting, the first player will draft, and the draft will go. Then the second, and so on, the last player has been drafted. One, two, three, all the way to 14. For the second round of drafting, the order will be reversed. 14, 13, 12, then 1. This means that the person at spot 14 will pick two mods in a row. Same goes for the um, person at the first. This repeats until all players are out of points or room on their roster. The draft will be live. Maybe bold that. Is it control B? The bold? Meaning that the entire draft process will take place over the course of an hour or so in a Discord call. Each division will draft on a different day. We understand that because of this, scheduling may be difficult and everyone will be able to attend. Due to this, if you know you won't be able to make it, make a draft board. They send the draft board. Look at that. What your regular draft looks like to a model or someone you know will be there. If you don't, you have to summon your roster from whatever is left over. Which isn't ideal. I promise you it isn't ideal. <laughs> As you see in the power rankings for Star Game that just uploaded, uh, the guy who came in late is dead last. Rosters. It's a little roster section. We'll leave it there. We might need that. Grace period. For the first 24 hours after the initial draft, bleeding, there will be a grace period in which all players can make unlimited changes to their roster. Did you get sniped so many times in the draft that you couldn't pick up a rapid spinner? During grace, you can do that. You can make swaps to get that rapid spinner if there is any available, but chance star, Craig and all will still be there. Once 24 hours are up, rosters are unlocked, and terror captains are finalized. Battle rules. These are pretty basic. Battle format Gen 9 Draft. You must build and battle in Gen 9 Draft format on Showdown. This permits illegal movesets. Shadow rules. All mods must be level 100. Six Pokemon must come to a battle. Games are best of one. General small on clauses. If you don't know who they are, look them up. We should link them. The Tom Pass is legal, but only dry passing. Kind of. <laughs> passing stat boost and sub boosts are illegal. Pass nothing or passing stat debuffs is legal. Tax clause of items involving Luxus RNG are largely banned. Now, we did just unban Razor Claw and Scope Lens because it's very niche for like sniper sets and stuff like that. These items include Bright Powder, Focus Band, Lax Incense, Lucky Punch, King's Rock, Razor Fang, Stick, Leak, and other items like these are banned. If you have any questions about this, item, please let us know. Let's bold that one too. Battle Timer is based on mutual. On, on mutual agreement. If both players agree to it, it can be on. However, if a game goes on for 100 turns or 35 minutes, then the timer must be on. When posting your battles in the Discord, please use the at live battle roll. Complex bands, here are the complex bands. Maybe control Get these in there. Maybe control is an I. Complex bands, let's just bold those people, don't miss them. Kaborka Claws. This is aimed after a player, the Gaborka Gengars, which, as you see right now, happened during the game. Accidental breaking of a battle rule does not mean auto forfeit. If a battle rule is broken turn 10 or earlier, the game must be restarted, no matter how inconsequential the rule break was. If the rule break occurred after turn 10 and affected the outcome of the game, the game results in an immediate forfeit of the game for the offending coach, unless... Both coaches immediately decide to replay the game in an attempt to return to the original game to stats before the rule break, at which point the game may be played as normal if the rule break is deemed to be accidental and did not affect the game. The defending players keep to the win, assuming they won, and a minus two difference will be played unless it's in the playoffs. Multiple offenses stack plus one every time. If for some reason it happens three times, then you will be kicked, which this is a pretty light niche like, thing that rarely ever happens, I feel like, but whatever not niche but like it's rare it's happened maybe once maybe twice ever so out of like eight times 14 yeah there's 14 games played eight weeks yeah um and my differential will be applied unless it is the playoffs multiple points a stack will be kicked if a rubric affected the game then it does not count as this and results in a standard for a fit this will be reviewed, reviewed, by, reviewed by mods and their final decision made by Soren. Me. Ultimately, it is a case by case basis and will be reviewed as such. RNG may make diff, may make it difficult for some games to return to original game state because of this slight deviations from the original game state are acceptable. For both coaches agree to the change. Um, maybe I don't, maybe y'all can keep replaying to y'all want. Um, when it comes to that. 
Oh, all right. The scheduling. Players will play one battle a week against an opponent in their division. The schedule is determined from the start of the season, so players will know exactly who they play and when. Weeks begin and end on Sunday at midnight EST, Monday to Monday advance. Be sure you have your battles in by then. When scheduling an opponent, we recommend reaching out early in the week so to set a time or even the week prior if it comes to that. We're skipping this one. I do not care about this song. When scheduling with an opponent, we recommend reaching out early in the week to set a time for the battle that works for the both of you. If no time works for the two players during that week, extensions are allowed, but require approval from mods, me, as well as the next week's opponents, and as it affects their scheduling as well. When a time is finalized, make sure to post the time as well as the teams are playing in the corresponding game time channel on the Discord. Post it as such, and this example is a perfect way to do it. I've also linked the, the Discord timestamps. Sometimes scheduling will be so messed up that the forfeits happen. If forfeits happen, the forfeiting player will give up minus four to the difference for the first time. If it is second time, minus five. For the third time, you're okay. Stats. When beginning a game, we ask that you post the link to watch it live on the live announcement channel on the Discord using the at live. This allows people to watch your game live, which builds hype as well as sense of community. Mods will also commonly record your game live and live come for the people YouTube channel, which you're watching on right now. You should like the video if you haven't already. For your battle to be considered complete, you must upload the replay to the corresponding channel on the Discord. In the Discord, in the Discord. This allows mods to rewatch the game to collect stats, such as kills per Pokemon, differential, and more. If the replay is not uploaded, the game is considered to not have happened and must be replayed. Let's italicize that right there. Working together. You allowed to work together, just no coaching during live battles. Just, you know what I mean? You have your front office, have your general manager, have your coach, have your assistant coach, do whatever. Playoffs. The final stands for the regular season will determine your rankings for playoffs. To qualify for playoffs, you must be one of the top eight teams in your division. If there is a tie between teams for five qualifications, tiebreakers will be determined in this order. Differential and head-to-head, -head. thanks to Mug, Sweep the Schedule is the last one. You can reread the rest if you miss it right there. Structure, unlike the regular season, playoff brackets are determined by the players. In playoffs, the player with the best record gets to choose the player they go against in the first round of the playoffs, then the player with the second best goes, then the third, and then the remaining teams play each other. Playoffs are structured in a simple single elim bracket. Players play their assigned or chosen opponents. If they win, proceed to the next round where they play the other winner of the previous round on their side of the bracket. This repeats until we have a champion. Let's get a exclamation mark in there. Transactions. Everyone's favorite. Each coach gets six free agent pickups for a season. They're usable up to week six. Transactions are defined as whenever you add a Pokemon to your team. Not dropping one, for example, if I drop an executive 40 and you know, 60 so I can pick up Bear Scooter 100, that counts as one transaction. There are unlimited player to player trades up to week six. However, no more than three mons may be swapped between teams in any given trade, after which point those two coaches may not make any more trades with each other that week. Both coaches are still able to trade with other coaches. All involved coaches must make it clear that they agree to the trade, whether it be DM confirmation or confirmation in the trade chat, which you should clear with it with a mod. The two involved in the trade must show proof of that. Terra Captain Swamps are also allowed. This happens when you change tire types on an already existing captain or change your Terra Captain entirely. You get three Terra Swamps per season, usable until the end of week six. All trades in Terra Swamps must still be in accordance with the roster rules established prior to 10 to 11 mons, 1100 points, etc. Content, which is what you're watching right now. Feel free to make your own content. Regarding
Feel free. Oh my god. Feel free to make your own content running PBO. We have a channel that you can find on YouTube, which I'm watching right now. Insert link here. When posting your content, we ask that you use the correct role, the at media role. Regarding your own content, we ask that you try to best keep up with your current season, aka not uploading season 3 content while we're in season 5. Pick the season 6 when our own player is orange. I'm sure we'll do that. We can't enforce it, you know, if you want to do it. But if we would, but we would like it if you could. Furthermore, we also ask the PBO logo be present in the thumbnail. Use description somewhere. Let's hold that. When posting content, you can use the at media role to ping people who have indicated they are interested in the PBO content. If you like those in the event, post the link or plug anything. Please ask Sworn for it. Let's hold that and italicize that. As in your for your own PBO content, we're making the following content that may involve your drafts, enough analysis, live comms, watch togethers, pickums, power rankings. Five. And then finally, miscellaneous clauses, the bumble clause. Also enough for a player, bringing them on. That's on your roster. We'll result in a forfeit. In which the send a forfeit difference rules apply. And just to check that you read the rules, leave a Pikachu remote in Gen Chat. Thank you for joining the PBO. Hope you enjoy your stay. Hope you subscribe. Hope you like. Hope you join the Discord, which is actually on the YouTube channel somewhere. If you can find that link, join and leave a Pika and leave five Pikachu emotes in chat to let you know that I sent you and that you watch this video and lovingly written by one of my very favorite mods, Don Colbus, the Don, Ogre Pond Hater, the OG. I'll see y'all when you join the PBO. Bye, everybody. Sword flying, the commissioner, out. Woo. How do I end this thing? Oh.